Trading without a plan is the number one way people get wrecked in these markets. If we have a predetermined plan to enter a trade, where we enter a trade, why we enter a trade, where we get out, why we get out, we are going to have much more success in these markets than people who chase price and trade off emotion. This is why we were able to take a long from the exact bottom. The setup was given in advance from 21,400 and take a short from the exact top setup was given in advance from 25 to 85. And actually both of these trades that I have right now are still open. Just to show you, I actually took the trades. We've got the one from the short at the high and still have the one long from the low open as well right here. And if we can learn to plan out our trades in advance, we're gonna have a much more fun time doing this than if we're constantly chasing price. So here's what we need to do. We need to come to the chart. By the way, if you want to join the Casper Crew VIP Discord where we give our day trade, scalp trade, swing trade, levels in advance and do three live streams a day, you can go to patreon.com forward slash Jason Casper. Also to take advantage of this volatility trading on Bybit with 0% limit fees, link in the description, link in the pinned comment. If you deposit $100, you also do get a month free of our trading bot. It's a great tool. For more information on the bot, check out the website, jasoncaspertrading.com. And not only do we have a 20% discount on our comprehensive trading courses, but more information on the bot if you click the link right here. So what we are going to do as we plan out our trades is first we need to determine where is a place where we would like to enter a trade and then we need to determine what or why would we get into a trade now one of the major things i like to look for to get into a trade is something called a divergence a divergence is where the price action and the oscillator are doing the opposite thing a great example of a divergence would be this if the price happens to make a lower low down here but our oscillator starts making a consecutive series of higher lows. That is called a bullish divergence. Okay, we want to see the price making a lower low like this. And we want to see our oscillator making a higher low like this, strangely resembling a set of very uneven gluteus maximi, just like this woman right here. Just like this woman right here, the waitress at the diner, you can see she's coming out, she's limping along because her butt cheeks are uneven, it's very hard to walk straight, so she's spilling your food all over, spilling the coffee as she's coming to the table. But notice what the price action is doing, right? Price action is getting lower and lower and lower as her butt cheeks are getting higher and higher, and notice where the tip money is, right? It's in that skinny butt cheek. Look at her butt cheek. We got the, we got the, the, the oscillator is getting higher here, right? Got the trend line as the price action is getting lower. That is a divergence. Something else we need to think, the market will always wreck as many people as possible. When we are forming some kind of a range, some kind of a sideways range, especially a really tight one, like what we're doing right here, we have to think to ourselves, there's going to be lots of stop losses underneath all these lows. And there's also got to be lots of stop losses above all these highs, right? And a lot of times people will trade these patterns to break up or break down. But we need to be thinking, what is going to wreck the most people? So for me right now, I'm looking at these lows down here, thinking to myself, man, if price comes down to these lows, a lot of people are going to get wrecked. And what I see also happening on my oscillator right now is I can foresee right now in the coming, let's say, hour or two, a big move to the downside, a liquidity hunt. And as we get that liquidity hunt, we are going to be printing that uneven butt cheek pattern on market cipher B. What this allows me to do is this allows me to create a plan where I know if price comes down to this level, I will be looking for a long trade from right here, right? I'll be looking for a long trade from right here. So what is going to be my entry signal? What is going to be uh, my exit plan if the trade goes in my direction or if the trade goes against my direction? Well, for me, it's very clear. I will make a plan and say, if the price comes down to my key box, and if I still see my bullish divergences on market cipher B, then I will enter the long trade without any emotion. And this brings us to the next aspect of planning a trade. And that means we need to understand and know in advance, first of all, how much are we going to risk on the trade? Where does our trading idea no longer 
become valid? Where, where's it? I'm sorry. Where does it become invalid? Right? Where does it become invalid? Because we could say that we're planning along from here, and we might even see bullish divergences, but price might just keep on coming down, right? So where's our idea invalid? This is where the planning also comes into place. And this is where we need to understand where we are going to set our stop loss, where we are going to set our take profits, and also how much are we going to risk using good risk management. Now, I can't get into all the aspects of good risk management right now, but jasoncaspertrading.com, we do have the course where basically... We have entire sections on risk management, how to set up a trade, how to set up basically a, a trading system so that even if you're taking multiple losses, you're not getting wrecked over time. Well, for me, in this instance, the invalidation point would be very, very simple. It would basically be uh, if we start to lose this low right here, then the trade becomes invalid, right? And where would my take profits be? Well, we are simply trading a sideways range. So my final take profit would be at $25,000. But we also, I like to set little take profits along the way, right? So a take profit one for me would basically be at resistance, right? We are coming down uh, to support and to resistance. That would be a take profit one for me. And then probably I would hit a take profit two around this naked point of control. Then I would hit a final take profit up here. Now, this is what we're going to do. We're going to have multiple plans. We can have multiple plans to long. We could have plans to short, right? At the same time, I could come here and say, you know what? I see a lot of people will get wrecked if we take out these highs. Maybe I have a key box up here and I'm looking to take a short if we're getting, let's say, bearish divergences on market cipher B. So let's say price gets another pump up to here like this. And I'm seeing our 24 minute time frame is printing now the upside down uneven butt cheek pattern, right? The wagers at the diner now hanging upside down from the ceiling. Well, then I could have another plan to short. And what this does is not only does it give me clearly defined entries and exits so that I already know I'm looking for these two trades. I know how much I'm risking on them already. I know where I'm wrong. I know where my take profits are going to be. But it allows me not to FOMO and chase price because I can tell to myself, you know what, Jason, you don't have to get into a trade right now in the middle of nowhere and gamble. No, you could just wait, wait for price to do something, wait for it to come lower and then see if there's an opportunity or wait for it to come higher and see if there's an opportunity. Planned trades more often than not play out very, very nicely. And um, one of the biggest mistakes traders make is over trading, like trading in the middle of nowhere, trading without a plan. Another reason why this is so great for traders is because a lot of people enter trades without a plan. And I get comments in all of my live streams saying, hey, I'm short from here and I'm in drawdown. What should I do? And my answer, unfortunately, is you should have had a plan. Because if you enter any trade or investment without a plan, well, you might be that guy that has the perfect entry, holds it to where you should have taken profit, doesn't take profit, and then holds it down and closes in a loss, right? Because you didn't have a plan. Or you might be that guy who enters a trade at the exact wrong place, price keeps coming down, and now you're taking a massive loss because you didn't have a plan to close that trade after a certain point of invalidation. So this is basically removing all those psychological factors that can mess with traders. And you're basically looking to systematize this so that you can come to a chart for multiple assets, make multiple plans, and then wait for those confirmations to actually happen, right? Very, very important stuff. Looks like we dipped into the box with the bullish divergences. Look at this. We are able to take profits on this juicy scalp trade. Now what we can do is we can simply just move the stop loss to our entry, lock in a guaranteed win here for a nice $200 profit. That is it for today's video, guys. Make sure to like, subscribe, click the bell for notifications. May God bless everybody in the name of Jesus, the Messiah, and I will see everybody in the next video. Peace.